Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk risks being sued by Twitter for disclosing classified information about the microblogging site. If Twitter's legal team wins the suit, then Elon Musk will be slapped with a huge fine for acting irresponsibly with Twitter's private information. You'll be surprised just what Elon Musk revealed about Twitter, which is exactly the reason why his $44 billion deal to buy Twitter is still dragging. The two parties have engaged in a fierce battle for months, but what Elon Musk has disclosed gives a new twist to the whole deal. Be sure to watch this video till the end to find out exactly what Elon Musk has discovered about Twitter and how Twitter executives responded to Elon Musk. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so as not to miss out on any of our new videos going forward. Now let's get on with the video. After entering a $44 billion deal to privatize Twitter, Elon Musk has just discovered a major flaw in the company that's likely to break the deal. Musk is known to be a diligent man and wouldn't settle for a deal that's not straight. He would expose any fraudulent activity in a company that might affect customer satisfaction, and so he had to carry out his due diligence to discover more about Twitter before settling down to close the deal. And in the process, he just discovered that Twitter has so many fake accounts than we all thought. And after raising skepticism about the huge number of spam accounts, Twitter officials didn't take a chance to respond to him. According to Twitter, less than 5% of its daily users are fake accounts. However, Musk claims that the number of fake accounts shared by Twitter officials is far much less than the actual number. Through his own sources, Musk believes that 20% of accounts created on Twitter are fake or run by bots. He went ahead to take serious measures by putting the deal on hold pending further investigation. He also called on the US Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC to investigate the matter. But this didn't stop Twitter from denying the claims. Whether the company is right or wrong still remains a matter of debate. But you can be sure even if Musk is right, Twitter cannot accept the claims considering that doing so will harm its reputation and cause its stock to plummet. It's as a result of this that Twitter's new CEO Parag Agrawal went ahead to defend the company, tweeting, What Elon Musk said is nothing but a false statement. Only 5% of the accounts are spam and fake, and you can expect only 5% spam from such an immense company with trillions of user accounts. He added that the circulation can't be verified externally because it requires the use of Twitter's private data. Agarwal further noted that the Twitter board doesn't take the fraudulent activities lightly. According to Agarwal, Twitter has strict security measures in place that checks accounts and can eliminate up to 50,000 fake accounts in a single day. This ensures that the platform is safe from spam bots, but from the looks of things, it seems like the battle is far from over. Even after a Twitter executive came out to clarify the issue of fake accounts, Elon Musk still seems not content with the explanation. Musk went further to demand that if Twitter's claims are right, they have to prove that in court. And as you can see, Elon Musk doesn't seem in any hurry to close the deal. He's taken the matter to court and now wants Twitter to prove that only 5% of the accounts are fake. However, as the push and pull between Elon Musk and Twitter execs continue, the company has not been favored. Its stock has continued to drop in response to the negative sentiment surrounding the company. For instance, on May 13th, Twitter's stock plummeted by 25% when Elon Musk announced that the deal to buy Twitter is on hold pending details supporting calculations that spam slash fake accounts do indeed make up less than 5% of users. The price took a dip further on May 17th when Musk tweeted that the deal cannot move forward until the fake accounts are proven. Now realizing just how Elon Musk's tweets are causing more harm to Twitter, the company board went ahead to respond to Elon Musk's demands as a way of saving the share price from dropping any further. Though the board didn't prove the claims that only 5% of accounts are spam, it went ahead to provide detailed information about how they detect spam bot activities on the platform. According to the Twitter board, the company takes a random sample of accounts to verify their authenticity as a way of eradicating spam bots. But despite having given some detailed information about how they detect spam bots, Elon Musk isn't content with what the Twitter board has shared. He thinks there's more relevant information that the company still holds secret, 
And now, he plans to terminate the deal if the company fails to comply by giving all the details about the fake account. So what new information has Musk discovered about Twitter? After realizing that Twitter officials were beating about the bush, Elon Musk went ahead to drop a bombshell that has left Twitter executives as well as the entire Twitter community in shock. He released some sensitive information about how Twitter auditors determine the number of spam slash fake accounts. According to Elon Musk, Twitter uses a sample size of 100 accounts to check the number of spam bots, and therefore, he too plans to use a sample size of 100 accounts to know the approximate number of fake accounts on the platform, considering that it's the same number used by Twitter's internal auditors to detect spam accounts. To accomplish that, Musk requested Twitter users to change the standard tweet feed presented in their account from most recent to recent tweets, adding that the platform uses an algorithm to select the most popular tweets, which according to him is manipulative. But what's Twitter's response to these claims? Well, Twitter, through its legal team, threatens to sue Elon Musk for violating a non-disclosure agreement or NDA by disclosing the exact sample size the company uses to determine the number of spam bots among its members. Through a tweet, Elon Musk revealed that the legal team reached out to him on the issue, saying, Just got a call from Twitter lawyers complaining that I violated a non-disclosure agreement by saying that the sample size for testing bots is 100. The founder and former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey also couldn't sit quietly to see the company he founded getting tainted. Dorsey chipped in to reply to Musk's tweet, saying, It, the algorithm, did simply save you time when you don't use the app for a while. He also commented on another user, saying that the algorithm was not designed to be manipulated. To avoid getting this issue into a lawsuit, Elon Musk has since dropped his accusation through a tweet, saying, I'm not talking about malicious intent in the algorithm, but rather pointing out that it tries to guess what you might want to read, and in doing so, inadvertently manipulates or reinforces your point of view without you realizing that this is happening. In the same spirit, Twitter has gone ahead to offer a better solution to the whole battle. In the new resolution, Twitter plans to offer Elon Musk access to its fire hose of raw data. This data is very important since it contains real-time information on the accounts that are sharing out tweets. That means that Elon Musk can get an upper hand privilege to access raw data on hundreds of millions of daily tweets to help him verify the number of spam bots on Twitter. Indeed, this is an exceptional offer considering that this information is kept secret only to a few Twitter officials. However, it's not clear whether Twitter has already issued Elon Musk access to its firehose, but it has confirmed that it's continuing to cooperatively share information with Elon Musk. Whether access to Twitter's firehose will help Musk to determine the number of fake accounts still remains an issue of debate. Ideally, the issue of fake accounts is of great concern to any person who is interested in buying a social media platform, and that explains why Elon Musk is so concerned about the exact number of spam bots operating on Twitter. Musk understands that advertisers use the number of users provided by social media platforms to determine whether or not they'll spend their money, and sure enough, the presence of a high number of bots can literally result in low ad income for the company. What do analysts think of Elon Musk? Now, the battle between Elon Musk and Twitter has raised a hot debate even as a majority of analysts agree that Elon Musk has a hidden agenda for continuing to push Twitter to the wall. The analysts believe Musk is indirectly manipulating Twitter stock price in his favor to get a chance to renegotiate the deal downward. So there you have it guys. What are your thoughts on Elon Musk and the Twitter deal? Do you think that Musk is really manipulating the price in his favor? And will he really close out this deal? If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this going forward. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye now!